Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. I will be discussing the trapezius muscle in orthopedic surgery. In human anatomy, the trapezius is a large superficial muscle which extends longitudinally from the occipital bone to the lower thoracic vertebrae, and laterally to the spine of the scapula shoulder blade. The trapezius has three functional regions. The superior region, descending part, supports the weight of the upper limb. The intermediate region, transverse part, retracts the scapulae. The inferior region, ascending part, medially rotates and depresses the scapulae. Here some of the actions provided by the muscle. Scapular elevation, shrugging up or lifting the shoulders. Scapular retraction, drawing the shoulder blades toward the midline. Scapular depression, pulling the shoulder blades down. The upper portion of the trapezius can be developed by elevating the shoulders. Common exercises for this movement are shoulder shrugs and upright rows. Middle fibers are developed by pulling shoulder blades together. Best exercises for this movement are rowing exercises and deadlifts. The lower part can be developed by drawing the shoulder blades downward while keeping the arms almost straight and stiff. This can be done in a pull-down station for example. A person can feel the muscles of the superior trapezius become active by holding a weight in front of them in one hand, and with the other, touching the area between the shoulder and the neck. It is common for non-experienced gym users to focus mostly to the upper portion of the muscle, and thus forgetting the important middle part and creating muscle imbalances which can heavily affect posture and compromise shoulder health. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.